Hey, welcome to the Dino and Joe show. My name is Dino and that guy over there, his name is Joe. Thus, the name of the show. It's true. It makes yeah. sense. It's almost logical. <laughs> almost. Almost. Close enough. Yeah. What do you got I going be, on? I, you know, a lot of snow, a lot of cold. It's uh, it's the Midwest, man. What do you want? I think we're done with the snow. I hope. I doubt it. Because we just got like six inches two days ago. Yes, and you did. it's it's gonna uh, you know it's February, so I'm hoping the closer we inch to March, we actually get that nice spring weather. But remember, in in well, at least in Chicago, I don't know about you know in Ohio, but there's you know there's winter, and then there's uh, false spring that yes. happens in like January, where all of a sudden you get like 60 degrees for one day, and then it goes right. like negative 15, and then it goes back to winter, and then you get second false spring. Where it's yes. like in February, early March, you get another set of like 50 degree days and then it drops. Sure. And then finally you get your real spring. And then that lasts for like what for me feels like two seconds and then it's like 100 degrees. Yeah. So yeah. It's, well, it's, we've already we we had a 60 degree day followed by a day in at 60 degrees where it dropped 30 degrees in one day. Same. Yeah. Yeah. That was, Crazy. That was the night of the snow. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get everything snow, melted. Everything melted during the 60 degree day from yeah. the last snow. And then yeah. it just it's it, it's a circle. It's a circle of life. <laughs> it's a circle don't sue us Disney. Weather life. <laughs> yeah. Don't sue us Disney. That's uh yeah. Oh yeah, we get sued by Disney. We're done. Uh we don't have the lawyer power to, to they're, battle they're that they're one. <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I, I love Disney, but lately they're upsetting me with all the little things they're charging for so i wouldn't be surprised if they took all like 17 dollars out of our, our our podcast account just to like teach us a lesson <laughs> right well we'll we'll have that now yeah you, we're, you just, just hand it over you quoted one of our very popular movies and yes. we're just gonna go ahead and have that just now. gonna go ahead and take that right and your car and your house right <laughs> <laughs> i live in an apartment and my car's not that nice so i guess you, you might be doing me a favor i don't know right right so uh, I don't know if you spent any time around the Super Bowl or not. I don't know if that was a big excitement point. Like for some people, you know, they're into football and they're into the Super Bowl. For some people, they only watch the Super Bowl and they watch it sometimes for the commercials more than the actual like event itself. Yes. And then there are people who just don't even care. <laughs> Where did you fall in the Super Bowl since your so team was, wasn't in it? Yes, my team hasn't been in it since 2004. Right. Uh, was it four? No, six. I'm sorry. It was 2006 against the Indianapolis Colts when we unfortunately lost. Was uh, that the Super Bowl su shuffle year? I can't remember. No, that was 1986 with uh, okay. the funky All QB, right. Jim McMahon, uh, Sweetness, of course, Walter <laughs> yes. Payton. Like that was, yes. that was uh, William Refrigerator Perry. Yes. Uh, that was, that was to this, you don't get a better Super Bowl than that. I don't care what anybody says. But, anyways. And who did they play Super Bowl that uh, year? They played the uh, uh, the Patriots. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, did they? Oh my God. No, I think they. Oh, see now you're making me. 1985. I don't think did they. I don't think they played the Patriots. They played. I honestly don't remember, but the stadium. It, it okay. Uh, where is okay? So it was Super Bowl 20. I'm I'm getting this verification. It was NFC. Ver oh, it was the Patriots. I was. Oh, was it really? Huh. Yes. Okay. We, we beat them forty-six to ten in the uh, Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. The site of uh, many a Super Bowl, it seems. It was, and uh, of course, the referee, everybody's favorite, Red Cashin. <laughs> oh, sure. Red. He was great. Uh, but yeah, no. So that was the last time my team was in the Super Bowl, or the last time okay. they won it. The last yeah. time they were in it was oh six, but. I enjoy watching the Super Bowl every year. I'm a big football fan. I, I enjoy watching any game. Doesn't matter what. Um, and the Super Bowl is fun because it is a combination. Any game? Any game. Really. I, I just, any game? Any game. It doesn't matter what. Football you, is fun. Any football game. Yeah. Well, here's why. Because nine times out of ten, I am playing fantasy football. Oh, and okay. pretty much any game that's on has somebody that I either have on my team and need to score. Uh -huh. Or is on somebody else's team, and I need to like I don't want to break a leg because that's a very long recovery. Maybe pull a hamstring for a game. So and you're you don't you're play. telling me the Carolina Panthers versus yeah. the Detroit Lions for you is a game you're like, mm, oh, got to be there for that one. 
I don't have to be there for it, but if it's on, I will watch it. Or the also Jacksonville like, Jaguars and the Arizona Cardinals. You're like, Oof. yeah, yeah, I'd watch it. Why not? <laughs> the Detroit one, I really I will, because my because my dad is a big Detroit fan, and I always love to you know give him a hard time right. when they lose, which is pretty much always because it's Detroit. But um, <laughs> but I this when I watch this Super Bowl, three things: one, the game, obviously; two, definitely the commercials; three, halftime show. Yeah. This year, all three. Uh, tickled my fancy a little bit, right? Because I, uh, well, they did. Because I wanted the Bengals. Okay, spoiler. If if you have not watched the Super Bowl uh, replay by this point, I'm sorry, but you're gonna hear uh, the the Cincinnati Bengals lost, unfortunately. They did lose, uh, yes. Uh, which was very disappointing for me. I wanted them to win. I really did really? want them to win. I did. There's the underdogs. I. It's like the Rams. Uh, they've won more recently than they won with like Kurt Warner back in the '90s. 88 was the last time the Bengals won. I, yes. I, I just wanted to, yes, and I like Joe, Joe Burrows. I like Joe Burrows. I like him a lot. Except for Joe Burrow. Like He's a singular Burrow? guy. Oh, really? Yes, Joe Burrow. I it was Joe Burrows. <laughs> well, whatever. See, again, it's not my team, so I don't know anything about it. But Matt Stafford, I like. I like Matt Stafford. I love Matt Stafford. I love the story so of Matt Stafford, he yes. Would, he right? Uh, he, he also, like, by what what were, uh, by the transitive property, I guess, won Detroit uh, 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 a little bit of a Super Bowl as well because he just never was able to to get you know um, yes. a chance to really be successful there so he finally got it in in LA but anyways uh, I enjoyed that the commercials were pretty good this year they weren't like mind blowingly great but I no. enjoyed them uh, there were a couple of good ones and then the halftime show was killer I, I thought that was that was a lot of fun so I didn't watch Super Bowl okay. Well, I just gave a lot of things away, so I went to uh, I went to go eat with my wife, and we went to a wine tasting at Cooper's Hawk, and oh, then we had dinner, uh, yes. and um, the people there kept us informed on what was happening with the game, of but course. honestly, we neither we didn't care. Uh, I watched the Super Bowl commercials online after the game, and yeah. because they were on Peacock, by the way, yes. and. Um, I uh, watched the Super Bowl halftime show with my wife afterwards. Yeah. Had no interest. Couldn't well, care less. Here's the funny thing. This year, uh, my mother-in-law's birthday is on the 13th, which happened to be when the Super Bowl was. Yeah. And it, usually the Super Bowl is a week earlier than it was this year. Yes. So it's usually like on the, the 7th or something like that. So, yes. we, you know, I didn't know if she was going to want to watch it. Like, I kind of wanted to watch the game, but obviously I wanted to celebrate her birthday more. But right. luckily she was interested in the commercials. So we just kept the game on in the background. So that was kind of nice. That's why I was able to kind of watch it in live time. And I also did the same thing because, you know, we were talking in between uh, plays. So I missed some of the commercials. But right. I did the same thing. I, I just went over to YouTube and watched them kind of all in a row for like 20 minutes. And do you have a favorite? Is Was there one that stuck out to you as, wow, that was the the real winner of them all? Nope. I, uh, I, I'll i tell you what. They were probably some of the more forgettable Super Bowl commercials I've seen. Yeah, like they were okay. Like I, none of them were like the, oh, that was a good commercial. They were like, oh, that was all right. I know. Like and the, some – like the new ones now, like you see them before they even air in the Super Bowl. I've yes, noticed that, that too now. We're all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, that's a Super Bowl commercial? Because yep. I saw that like a week ago. Yep. Um, you know, and, and so like I don't know. I mean, look, it's a lot of money to advertise at that time. Uh locally, they pay a lot of money in your local commercial section that happens mm-hmm. like in the middle of like halftime or whenever. Um, but no, I I didn't walk away with like that memorable Super Bowl commercial that I was like, oh man, that commercial was so funny or that commercial right. was so engaging. Like I, I walked out going, okay, you know, Super Bowl commercials were okay, mm-hmm. but I didn't I didn't have that one commercial that really knocked me out. No, I, I I was disappointed in that because you expect you there's an expectation with the commercials of the Super Bowl in my opinion, right? Uh, oh, you expect are, those 100%. to be the commercials, right? Yes. And, yeah, I, I don't. I didn't walk away going, oh, that commercial was so funny. I got to see it again. There were two that I really enjoyed that stuck in my memory. The first one, because I love Paul Rudd and Seth Rogen. Yes. Uh, the Lay's one. I thought that yep. commercial was enjoyable. And uh, since I had watched The Sopranos for the first time last year. Yes. The the one where her his uh, where Meadow and uh, and uh, her son or his son was 
like met up at, but they yep. were they were driving the Chevy, but it was electric and yes. they were, used a theme song. I thought that was kind of cool, right? Uh, just because I, I had recently watched that, but yeah, I don't. There was I, I think a Doritos one with like um, sloths that they ate one and oh like, yeah, went yeah, really yeah, fast yeah, back yeah, up yeah, the tree. That yeah. was like Dorito usually comes up with something considerably better than that. It, it was okay. Yeah. Like I don't even remember it that well. That's how right. okay it was. Um, Trying to think Remember a few years ago when it was overloaded with they get a new job commercials yes. from like yes, Indeed and like, you were like holy okay. cow or um yep oh there was another one I can't even remember what the that's that's how bad is that right. I can't even remember what the other company was it was like battling like get a new job commercials right. well um, Indeed obviously won in your mind so yeah I mean it's just the company I remember right. you know I think I saw those commercials longer later you know what yeah. I mean there you go. um. But yeah, you expect Budweiser to have a great commercial. I thought their commercial was okay. It was all right. Uh, I, I, you know, I didn't walk away going, "Oh wow, Super Bowl commercials." The game was better than the commercials, and so that hasn't always been the Super Bowl story, really. That's very true. There was what year was it that I think it was uh, the Panthers and Denver when uh, Peyton Manning was in Denver, and it was like yeah. some lopsided score where it was like. Right. Okay. Well, at least the commercials were good that year. Right. Um, and at least again this year, the game and the super tone, uh, the the halftime show rather, right. were like top notch. I I I really enjoyed that. Now we've been to one Bengals game. That's the okay. only, that we 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 try to take the boys to a, every sporting event. Right. We've been to a hockey game in Columbus. We've been to the Bengals game. Um, obviously we do, we do a lot of soccer and that's not something we have to worry about. We go up to Cleveland and saw LeBron play, uh, okay. for a couple of years, we went up to Cleveland and did that. Um, so we try to get them experience with all the different sports. We go to the Reds for baseball. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I will tell you that in our house, uh, we all have different allegiances to different teams. Of course. And the only person who even really cares about Cincinnati sports from the football side is my youngest one, Henry, who okay. is six. And uh, he likes FC Cincinnati, the soccer team. So mm -hmm. he might have like some like, oh, I like the Bengals, but he really doesn't care. He likes J.J. Right. Watt. Oh, okay. well, that's <laughs> like fair. This, so it's like his thing is like J.J. Watt, the football player. And then every once in a while he'll spit out like that he likes the Cincinnati Bengals, but he, he hasn't really made that a affiliation to any team. Right. He says he now, likes my team, so we'll see. Okay, so I I, I think you know who my favorite team is. For I'm football. guessing it's the Bears. It is the Bears. I, I will live and die a Chicago yep. Bears fan because I, I feel like all Chicago sports teams are kind of those lovable losers. Sure. In a way, when you think about like the Cubs, I mean, yeah, hello. Oh, it's, their their legacy is losing, that's right? Losing, right? They've right. Yeah, it's yes. And the Bears, I mean, they've become a legacy of losing. Unfortunately, kind of, the Monsters, of the yeah. Midway, are have, have that's a long time. They're ago. the yeah. It was not <laughs> no. I mean, I still don't get me wrong. I still love going to Bears games. I still love watching them. I think they sure. do a great job. I think um, we have a good chance of being decent with a new gm and a, and a, a new uh, coach this year um but yeah so but you know the blackhawks they were really sucky for a long time and then they yeah. won for a string of time and now they're not doing so great same thing with the right. bulls like the bulls are yeah. like one of the most winningest teams like ever of any sport and then just suddenly now, they are now not. not so much no <laughs> Derek Not Rose was never going to be the guy. <laughs> yes, no. I, it's he. The dude would play a game, break his leg, play. You know, he'd be gone for a year and a half, come back and break the diff other leg. It's it was yeah. It's Amazing fun. talent that I don't think ever played out the way that anybody hoped sure. it would. For sure. sure. Now yeah. you know my. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, so it from what it sounded like you were not necessarily a Bengals fan. Not a Bengals fan. Okay. Um. I know you're not from Ohio initially. Not a Browns so I'm fan. Gonna say, no. I'm going to say Ohio teams are out. Yep. I know you're from Iowa. Yeah. I see a little Iowa Hawkeye, so I can assume you enjoy Iowa Hawkeye football. But for Love NFL, NFL, there's mm -hmm. no Ohio or uh, Iowa team, rather. So no. let's think. I'm going to guess Kansas City Chiefs because that's the next, what I would imagine would be the next closest. So in baseball, I'm a huge Kansas City Royals fan. Royals, Okay. But uh, not, not a Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs fan. Okay. Now, I like the Chiefs because okay. I like Derek Mahomes. Or, sure. 
Pat Mahomes or whatever the Patrick hell. Mahomes. Mahomes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like him and I like Kelsey and I, I've grown to like that Tyreek Hill. Like there's some great yeah. players on that team. Absolutely. But if you ask me like the history of the Kansas City Chiefs. That's right. team. Okay. So hold on. Let's let's think about this logically again. So okay. Mm-hmm. We're looking at Iowa. Yes. We've gone over to Missouri. We said that's not the case. Yep. If we go up a little bit, maybe we're looking at Minnesota Vikings. Nope. No. Nope. Not uh, Minnesota fan. That's fine. Let's go down a touch and we'll be essentially in, I mean, the Texas area. So we have Houston, the Texas. I don't know. So, so here's, here's what you got to realize in Iowa when you oh. don't have professional sports. Yeah. You get whatever regional game that they show. Right. And so you're going to get the teams that are popular at that time. So for me as a kid, uh, well, we'll run through the sports. Kansas City okay. Royals. Yes. Remember, radio was 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 the yeah. big, you know, outlet for sports, yeah. and the Royal stations were always on radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm a Kansas City Royals fan. Uh, the first real NBA that we had was when uh, TNT came oh, yeah. into being, or TBS, yeah. and they would show the Atlanta Hawks. So I became an Atlanta Hawks fan. I was a big fan of Dominic Wilkins. Okay. Uh, for um, Let's see. For hockey, we really had none until USA right. Network started showing hockey, and we okay. got all the New York Islander games. And so I became an Islanders fan. Wow. Okay. So you're really spanning the right the four corners of the now, U.S. Now think about football at that time, and the big team was America's team. Okay. I was going to say it was probably. I, I felt like the Texans wasn't right. If I just nope. gone a little bit further east, <laughs> we would have gotten the Cowboys. And yeah. Yeah, that Dallas was sense. always on, and it was yeah. it was le- like remember we didn't have necessarily all these cable channels either. It was ABC, CBS, NBC. Right. So you know you got Pat Summerall yep. and John Madden doing all the Cowboys games, and so I was a Cowboys fan. In fact, my favorite player from the Dallas Cowboys was Danny White, the quarterback. Okay. Who, like most people, unless you were a Dallas fan, you have no idea who Danny White is. Right. He was not the the, the all world quarterback. He was just their quarterback at the time, and uh, yeah, I grew up a Dallas Cowboys fan. So okay. Um, you know, again, a team that you, much like you, like they were dominant. They were won. It was great right. in the and 70s, then, in the 80s, right. right? And now you get into the 90s and unfortunately, Ofer. you know, yeah. You know, if, we, if we make it to a playoff game, we know we're not winning. Right. That, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's just kind of reality. The same. It's like, oh, well, we got the playoffs. All right. Uh, you know, that year we did the double doink, right? Where... Oh my God, that guy, I hate Cody Parkey, my Parkey. least favorite person ever, who, you know what, it's too difficult to get to Soldier Field to actually practice kicking in the stadium on the real grass. I'll just do it at the <laughs> practice center, and you can't land, you know what, I'm not going to relive it, because it's fine, nope. but my point is, um, it's it's uh, one of those things where, as long as it's not the Green Bay Packers, I'm fine. Yeah. I will not, if you are a Green Bay Packer fan, don't talk to me. In fact, I'm going to chance alienating some of our listeners if you listen to us and your green bay Packers fan just go ahead and click on subscribe we we don't want you here uh, or at least wow. i don't. maybe, maybe I, lived in, I lived in green bay for like six That's, months but did you like the green bay packers no, and I okay, wanted to move fine. after six months. So it was... Exactly. So that's see that makes me. That's why this works. You wanted to move after six months. I'm completely fine with that. It's the Dito and Joe show. We'll be back, and uh, well, except for in Wisconsin. Yeah, don't listen to Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Dino and Joe show. That man over there, his name is Joe, and my name is Dino. Um, so we were talking about the Super Bowl, and it's it's a you know I, I don't I think it's just natural guys talking about sports right, and I don't necessarily like want to just do sports programs because I think those are done right, and there's way right. people people way know way more about sports than we do, but I did want to bring up the other sporting event that's going on right now because I do think like it, it's people. that time of year or time of the whatever sports calendar yeah. that people get into the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And I know we've had this conversation, but I know you uh, are watching the Olympics. Of course. I love the Olympics. So I am a uh, Olympics fanatic. Uh, I'll watch <laughs> pretty much anything like, 
you know, it's it's one of those things where there's always something interesting on. Now, yes. I will admit, for me, the Summer Olympics have more interesting things. Yes. Um, because it is... I feel like there's more things that can be done in the summer than in the winter, right? Right. And that's well, not to here, say that there's my favorite thing isn't necessarily in the Winter Olympics because it is two of my favorite things. Well, but, I, but here's my take on the Olympics, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, they put a ski jumping platform in Chernobyl. Yes. <laughs> the strangest thing in the world to me because we were sitting there when they first showed it. And my wife says, did you see that? And I'm like, oh. That is absolutely a nuclear power plant. Like I, uh, like I am waiting for Homer Simpson to come walking out, right? Like, and then to realize I saw this real long shot, and it's not yeah. just one or two tower in the background. Mm -hmm. And I liked how they painted the logo of the Olympics on the one to make it look like it was like okay. Yeah, it's a <laughs> field of them. It's like nuclear power plants everywhere. Hey, and then there's this white snow hill in the middle of it. It was crazy. But anyway, um, there's a lot of events to me that I don't. And, and, and this is just because I'm naive about Winter Olympics It's and winter sports are not my thing. But I don't understand the difference between Super G, Downhill and all these because it's the same course. I don't get what the difference is. I don't know if the equipment's okay. different Let, or whatever. So I don't get that. But I also don't get this. How many jumpy, flippy, spinny events are there? Because like that has been like a lot of the Olympics to me. And I'm like, I'm tired of the jumpy, flippy, spinny, jumpy <laughs> land and get a score thing. There, that, there's are, a lot of there are 15 sports in the Winter Olympics. I'm looking at them right now. Only 15? Through them. Only 15. That seems there like light. Alpine ski. Yeah. Okay. Curling. Oh, luge. I love curling. Love the luge. Ski jumping. Uh, I love ski jumping, the, the the big hill one where they lean and then they Yeah, poof, the, yeah then they hey, that's back. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Biathlon. You know what, George was, my son, he was like all about biathlon. I think it's super cool. Now, is it yeah. one of my favorite things? No, but if it's on, I'm never turning it off. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Th that's yeah. super cool. Uh, figure skating, which I, I just enjoy watching because... I don't know if I could ever do any of that ever. Oh no, no! It's so but impressive. Like, how it's so cool. much figure skating do you need? I mean, yes. There is the team competition right. and the short program and the long right. program, program and ice dancing and then uh, pair skate. I'm like, holy cow! A lot of different things. There's I feel like they added more skating. They probably did. Although I'm just gonna say this right now. Uh, Johnny Weir is the greatest commentator of all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And he and Terry Lipinski should do more because they are phenomenal. And I don't begin to even understand figure skating, right. but he makes me understand it to the point where like, I'm like, Ooh, there's a deduction. There's, Ooh, that's going to be a deduction. They bring it down for the lay people who don't know so anything. Do they, they? They, they, the only exposure they get to figure skating is this. This yes. is the only exposure. So it yes. makes it very easy for me to digest and say, aha, I understand what that is, why that is the way yes. it is and all that kind of stuff. I love everything about Johnny Weir from the way he dresses to how he is, to how he explains things. That man is by far one of my most favorite people to be on TV. I, I, I absolutely adore him, to be honest. Like, I love the man. There is Nordic combined. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it it seems as though based... Hold on. Based on the small... Is that cross-country skiing? It's cross-country skiing else? with ski A backpack? Because it's it's this. It's a picture of somebody like this and skiing. Oh, so, all right. So, uh, bobsled. Bobsled's Love the great. bobsled. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, freestyle skiing. Short yes. track speed skating. Yes, that's cool. Speed skating. Yes. Cross-country skiing. Yes. Uh, ice hockey. And yes. skeleton. And I swear they call it skeleton because you are scared poopless because <laughs> you're going ahead first uh, at a very high rate. Why do I feel like there's more sports than that, though? Uh, I am on the Beijing 2022 
website and it is showing me all these now there might be breakoffs of each individual like for instance let's yeah. go to nordic combined just seeing exactly what it is let's go to the one we absolutely knew nothing about yes so there's men's <laughs> there's individual gunderson large hill 10 kilometer there's team gunderson large hill four by five kilometer oh there's sure individual gun uh gunderson normal hill 10 kilometers gunderson's getting a lot of a lot of play apparently damn. that's the me oh that's it they don't have a women's. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, I mean, but I, I thought there might be like a women's for it. Hold on. Let's go. I will. Well, I, you didn't I'm do go. half. There's got to be like, because you didn't do snowboarding. There's snowboarding mm -hmm. half pipe. Well, okay. Let's do snowboarding. Then. That's fine. Uh, snowboarding. Did you say snowboarding? I didn't hear you I say did. snow. Oh, oh, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. Okay. So apparently, in case you're wondering, the Nordic yeah. combined is men's only. There's oh. nothing to do with women. So I. That sounds I, exclusive. That I don't doesn't know. seem fair. Why is I that? Like that? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Uh, uh, snowboarding. There yes. are the following four men 55 and women. Five events. <laughs> there's one, two, three, five. There's five. They're the, exactly the same. Five for yes. men, five for women, and then there's yes. a mixed. So yes. for men and women, there are snowboarding downhill, parallel snowboarding giant, parallel giant slalom. That's the I one. I love the word slalom. That's my favorite. <laughs> Snowboard big air. That sounds scary. Yeah. Snowboard yeah. cross. Right. Snowboard half pipe. Yes. Snowboard slope style. Luckily, I have a, uh, a windscreen here, so the pipe and the piles are, are not coming through <laughs> as rough as they would. I heard a, I heard a, on my end, so I apologize yeah, for funny. being over everybody. And then the mixed team snowboard cross, of course. Yes. Um, let's see who are some medalists. Let's just let's just pull this up. Uh, right now, Austria is leading in snowboarding uh, with a total of three gold and one silver. Mm. Followed very closely by, oh, tied for first, actually, is the United States of America. Three gold, one yeah. silver. So yeah. outstanding. I think it's uh, interesting, too, that there's this generation that will know snowboarding more than skiing. It seems. Oh, absolutely. I like, know more. That's about the cool skiing. one, right? Like, that's the it cool is? one to go do. We were, my, Emily and okay. I were talking about this, right, where... It's like, I, I went skiing, I didn't enjoy it. She's never been, but it wants to try it. And now she thinks like I won't take her because I absolutely hated, my, I'm not a skier. Uh, sure. And she's like, did you try snowboarding? I'm like, are you crazy? Probably. <laughs> like, but I feel, I feel like there's a whole generation that is more into snowboarding than skiing maybe. Yeah. I, don't, I have be. nothing to base that on other than just the fact that like that seems to be taking like a lot of like the Olympic time frame is jumpy spinny flippy the the one sport i feel like i had a a snowball chance in hell of ever qualifying on any level not even an olympic level like a national yeah. level yeah would be curling oh please i love that curling is, that meme of it's five guys who escaped from their wives for a weekend and ended up winning a gold medal at the olympics like that is that is that they look like it's, five dads who are like, hey, get the rooms, boys. Yep. <laughs> Go on curling. It's so cool because <laughs> it, and, uh, it, it's so simple, yet yeah. so complicated because it's like a bocce. Has an, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever played bocce ball, and it's yeah. sort of an Italian. I played league. in a bocce uh, league once, yes. Yeah, it's like bocce ball is like basically you, you throw a small metal ball on grass or whatever surface you have. Usually it's grass. Sand. And then the yeah. idea, yeah, sand, whatever. And you try to get your different colored ball mm -hmm. as close to that circular, that tiny little ball as you can. Yeah. And it's X amount of points for everything. And of course, everybody will these different rules, but kind of the same thing for curling, right? You have the big red circle in the middle and you want to be dead center of that circle. And my favorite thing is when they measure it, because they take that thing that's like yes. a protractor and yes. they put it in the middle and then they like, it's, Spin I think it around. I saw somebody won by like half a millimeter. Yeah. Like that's literally, it was like literally yeah. a half of a millimeter that they, they were closer. Yeah. It's, it's so cool when it comes down to that, but that looks the most fun. Like I, I to me, I didn't, didn't realize that you actually sweep to speed up the stone, not to yes. slow it down. Like I thought you were trying nice. to slow that down mm -hmm. and, uh, I love the the guy who's way leaned over and he's rolling the stone out there and he glides with it and lets it go at the line and he stays with left, it and then they left, and then they yeah right and then they just yell left, at each other straight <laughs> um, and it's like did you so did you see uh, the TikTok? Shoes? No, 
You didn't see the Nike shoes that he made into curling shoes? No, but that's amazing. I want. I hope oh, it's one of the them. Americans. Uh, he has a pair of Nike shoes, and they are like old school Nike shoes. Are awesome, and he put the components on them to make them curling shoes. I mean, I'm telling you, it is it is literally like dads who have gone out and been That's, like, hey, let's, hey, let's, hey, we're in the Olympics, right? Um, did you know, and again, TikTok for the win, did you know that the ice is not flat? It's not like smooth. It's, it's pebbled. Not? It's pebbled. Really? I didn't know that. That's they. So I, I was watching it and I don't remember if it was somebody from Team Canada or USA or wherever, but somebody was practicing and they basically turned on this like they put on a back thing with water and they basically sprayed it and it's literally pebbled. That's why it speeds up is because uh, they're literally flattening it out so it can pick up momentum going forward. No idea. Physics is crazy, man. <laughs> Curling physics. Of all I, things, I, I'm going to admit something. I'm going to admit something on here that I never have. I am not good at physics. Uh, my dear friend Mark was my uh, my key to passing physics in high school. He was he is an engineer now, uh, and uh, he was like, "Oh, Joe, it's no problem. It's it's like this." And I'm like, "Oh, right. of course, it's like that. How sure. how could I not have known that one?" Um, cool. So yeah, uh, that joke was. But seriously, though, it makes sense. Momentum carries <laughs> forward. Forward momentum. It's like a Newton's law or something. Fig Newton, right? <laughs> Fig Newton, right? He Fig came Newton, up with that. Right. Yeah, Fig Newton him in the head. In the head. And, yeah. Right. He turned well, it into Apple a cookie. Did, I thought a Fig Newton hit him on the head. That's why it was called Fig Newton. <laughs> no, uh, no. The uh, apple hit him in the head, and he was like, hey, I got this idea for a cookie. There it is. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes and sense. Is that why it was 14. Apple Fig Newton? That's always my favorite one, the Apple I'm Fig Newton. I'm telling you, right? Those are the delicious ones. Oddly enough, oh, the fig, hey. fig Newton, it's disgusting because it tastes like fig. Did you, did you get your Girl Scout cookies? No. Why would I? Oh, what, what do you, wait, what, what did you just well, say? I mean, I mean, what like, did you just say I, to me? I what, don't have anybody in did, my, what in the absolute world of craziness did you just utter? I the have word, no way to why get would There's I just nobody, came out of your mouth? But how, like, I, the way I should have positioned it I'm was. I'm disappointed right what, now. In what way could I procure those? Because I don't have anybody to buy them from. I don't have anybody I have with four, kids and Girl Scouts. Four Girl Scouts in my little tiny neighborhood. I had to buy well, four sets of cookies. You well, first of all, you didn't have to. No, 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 you no. You could no. have just picked no, your favorite and and no. given her your order. No. Secondly, you can't I do don't. That. They're like could. six year old girls. You cannot like be like, hey, I, I'm buying from you know Lucy because she's my favorite. Like that's not I happening. Am, First of so all, by the way, Lucy, could. down the street, got my cookies today. Thank you very much. That was awesome. <laughs> you could have, but you chose not to because you're a nice man. I don't have that. Like, I live in an apartment complex. I don't. I think so, that's illegal soliciting will, if they tried to come to my door. Will you not go out and find someplace the Girl Scouts are set up to sell cookies and buy your Girl Scout cookies? No, I've never done that once in my life. God, what is wrong with you? You uh, The are, only time I've gotten can, it. No, how am I a human? I am not seeking that out. Why if, would you if, not? There's some of the best cookies ever, and they have new I ones don't disagree. this year. I okay, see new that's ones. that's enticing. But here's the thing: the only time I've ever gotten them are when they're in front of the grocery store. That's what I'm saying. I, but I don't seek that out. I just happen to be oh, going to the grocery store, and they're there. And the other time, my uh, our good friend's sister's daughter. Was in Girl Scouts. You're making it's this the, up. Yeah, it's <laughs> You're the whole thing. Reaching, and we ended up getting like four or five boxes, and they were delicious. Yeah, of course. but I, but I, like, oh. I haven't had Girl Scout cookies right. in like two or three years. For everyone else, it is Girl Scout cookie season. Please go acquire your Girl Scout cookies because oh, one, you're supporting a great cause. I don't. And two, yeah. they are phenomenal, and there are new ones this year. Uh, new ones. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, yes. I, it's not that I don't want to support the Girl Scouts. Oh, you're I done. Just, we're, uh, you're done. You're, you're okay. okay. Girl Scouts. That's a wrap on this one. It's the Dino and Joe show. <laughs>